So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, we've got a really exciting video for you. I'm doing a, a bit of a different one. I don't even know if I've done a video like this. I might have, but not for a very long time if I have. And I'm going to be doing a giving my opinions on things that no one cares about. So, basically, I'm a very opinionated person, <laughs> uh, which can get me in trouble, but also interesting to talk about with people, you know? Gives you, gives you a, a good debate in life um but i just put my story i was like give me topics or anything you would like my opinion on and i did it anonymously so obviously because i know some people prefer like asking questions when it's anonymous and yeah i've got no makeup on or eyelashes i look a bit of a mess but yeah make sure you like comment subscribe all of that good good stuff and we're going to jump straight in. i've got so many and i haven't opened any of them there's this cool app called NGL like not gonna lie and it's anonymous and um I've got so many so right I put the camera down a bit that's a lot better so she can jump straight in okay opinion on boyfriend following and liking girls pictures in underwear for example I'm you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the viewfinder there so I don't keep looking at it I hope it's still filming can you imagine oh my god um my opinion is probably well definitely it's completely disrespectful I don't class that as cheating personally but I completely I think it's completely disrespectful there is no need to be liking other girls pictures you know what I mean obviously if it's like been their friend before like if it's their if they've got a friend that's a girl like they know someone from school and then they're taking the picture like a selfie then yeah fair enough like it not bothered but when it's like a random celebrity or it just makes you feel so shite basically and especially if it's underwear or bikini I'm not being funny I with my ex my recent ex well from ages ago now well over a year ago um he he just liked everything like anything and it made me feel so just small and like it made me think oh great so he's just liking them he's and he'd always go oh I just like everything which is a boy's favorite excuse but no just have it with respect like Toby my boyfriend now I didn't even have to say it to him like I didn't have to ever say don't like girl like why are you liking girls in bikinis underwear he just doesn't because he's respectful of me and I feel like you shouldn't have to ask a boy to do that like it's just common knowledge like you're not liking pictures of celebrities showing their abs are you or like you know in their boxes so why are they doing it yeah I just think it's wrong and I don't I just think it's a complete disrespect Next one, we have got... Oh, okay. This is a different one. The Nike sports bra and where they and where they use the trans woman cause a lot of controversy. Hmm, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure on what this is about, so I'm going to look it up. Um, Nike sports bra... Okay, yeah, I can, there's lots of things coming up. Nike now pays a trans woman to wear sports bras. Yeah, what's the issue with that? <laughs> Can't anyone wear a sports bra? If a man wants to wear a sports bra, you can wear one. If a woman wants to, if a transgender person wants to, why? Jesus. Are people actually getting upset about that? Let me try and see the picture. Oh my god, it's just a sports bra. Okay, yeah, that is just ridiculous. Sorry, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> why are people getting annoyed about that? I don't even see how that has caused controversy. I do, because the world's ridiculous, but... Oh, it, it, comes to shock me more and more every day if you actually have an issue with a transgender person being transgender you actually need help i have issues with people if they're bad people whether they're a woman a man transgender like don't identify as anything i don't care about what they are i care if they're a horrible person and i'm sure in all of them categories there are horrible people i don't care if they're in a sports bra i could not care less baffling wow um anyway opinion on love at a young age um I think there's pros and cons so I think do what you want honestly I think it can open your mind up a lot but also damage you a lot and I was in love from a very very young age 14 which is just ridiculous and no I don't regret it at all because it made me the person I am and I have the experience that I have and I don't think I'd be as in such a healthy relationship now if I hadn't gone through that so young but I've always wanted to be in a young relationship because my mum and dad have been together since 15 and they're like they've they got engaged at 16 which is ridiculous but they've been together ever since like they broke up for three months after five years but that was it and ever since they've been they're still t t they're married got me and alice um but yeah i just think do what you want if you love someone be with them obviously don't do anything stupid or like 
ridiculous. I'm not saying go and get engaged at 16, like times were a lot different when my mum and dad were younger. Um, my sister's 16 now and if she came home and said she's engaged, I'd, I'd probably pass out. Um, but yeah, I just do what you want. I don't see an issue with being in love young, but you can get hurt and you're, you aren't fully developed. And saying that, if you're young, don't fall in love with someone a ridiculous amount of years older than you. You know what I mean? Like, it's, age gaps are fine when you're older because like 50 and 56 is fine but if you're 12 and 18 a little bit dodgy I'm going to put the viewfinder back as well because I've never not had the viewfinder like there but I, I know it annoys people because it annoys me when people look at their viewfinder and then I do it anyway moving on opinions on young pregnancy okay it's personally something I wouldn't do uh, but I don't think when you say young I don't, what do you constitute as young? Because these days, I feel like even having a baby at 20 is young, but like back in the day, everyone had a baby at 20. So if you want a baby at 20, who cares? I'm gonna go with like the age of like 15, 16, because I know people do get pregnant that age, and usually it's not intentional. And you can choose to do whatever you want, keep it, not keep it. Um, I don't, I wouldn't judge anyone. I wouldn't judge anyone for keeping it. I wouldn't judge anyone for not keeping it. And I just think people can do what they want, but I would say just think about your future. And I'm saying, I'm not saying this for like people that are like 19, 20 that get pregnant because you are a bit older than them, but I'm saying for little, like young people. But then again, if you want the baby, go for it. If it's something you want to do, who cares? It doesn't really, like if you're a mature enough person and you didn't plan it, but you've got your head around it and you want to keep it, and you've got support and you've got money then yeah but I'm not promoting it I wouldn't go in I wouldn't intention like don't go out as a 15 year old and think right I want a baby wait everyone loves baby. well not everyone a lot of people love babies I love babies and I cannot wait to have one that does not mean I'm gonna go out and you know get pregnant because I know I'm not mentally and I'm, I live with my I live at home I I'm not like do you know I, I'd love a baby but I don't want one for like eight 10 years because I know that's when I want one you know but if you really want one now and you're able to do it I'm saying this to like over 18s if you're younger than 18 and have baby and you're well done you're smashing it I could never do what you do what's my opinion on uh how can I say this without getting demonetized the green stuff <laughs> god um my opinion I I personally have never tried it and I can hold my hands up to say that I I don't know um D-R-U-G-S is just a sticky one really isn't it, it's it's a really hard thing to give an opinion on, Even, I'm going to give my opinion on it for medical purposes, I think it can be great okay, however I pers I have chronic pain and uh, it's meant to take the pain away and that's why I won't try it because I don't want it to take the pain away and then think oh I need to rely on that because it can turn you into a zombie and it can make you paranoid and people that do it all the time over and over again it's not good for you I'm sorry I know you don't want someone going oh blah 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 it, oh, alcohol's just as bad or worse but the thing is yeah and you shouldn't be an alcoholic either so don't smoke that every day you know what I mean like I don't see the problem with medical use uh, as long as you're just not damaging anything of like mentally you know and I think I don't see how it will ever become legalized for um What's the word? Commer not commer um what's that word? Um commercial use? Is that the word? Commercial no. <gasps> That's gonna really annoy me. What do you call a park? Like com uh, sense like a park. Oh my god. Park near me and I'm gonna look because I know I know what I'm thinking of. This is gonna really annoy me. Recreational use. There we go. Jesus. That took me a while. I don't even know if that's the right word. Also I'm peeling really bad. Um yeah, that's my opinion really. Again, do what you want. <laughs> um, next one. Oh, opinions on tattoos and piercings. I I like them. I have four tattoos, and I have my belly pierced and my firsts and seconds. I did have my helix and that one there, but I was a bit too much of a pussy, and I took them out and didn't put any back in, so they closed up. But um, yeah, I I like them. I think again, do what you want to do. I don't. I will never ever understand people that say to their fully grown children, like not even children, 18 year old and they're like, oh, I don't want you getting a tattoo, you're not getting a tattoo, like why? As long as they're not getting something completely offensive and ridiculous, why? It's their body, they're an adult. A, pi a little tiny picture or anything, a sleeve that they want maybe, 
it's not an issue. I don't I don't see why it is. Fair enough if like your 15 year old comes home with a tattoo, then yeah, I get that. But I just think whatever. Piercings, again, I I wouldn't I, I like nose piercings, but not on me. I do like them on certain people. These ones I'm not the biggest fan of, but then again, I've seen them on certain people and they look so good. So I think it just completely depends whether you suit it or not. Because uh, I, I know I wouldn't suit lots of tattoos, but lots of women do. And lots of women just suit the little cute ones, like me. <laughs> but then you can see women with like tattoos covering them, and they look great. Same as men. But yeah, I don't think I'd get any more piercings. I'd definitely get more tattoos. But I want them all in hidden places, like sort of hidden. And I've kind of used all them places up. So that's a bit annoying, but... I don't want to get a tattoo unless it has another meaning to me. But I definitely will get another small one. Opinions on lip fillers. Would you ever get them? No, I wouldn't get them. Just simply because I I like the idea of being natural. There's nothing wrong. I would never look at someone and think, Oh, you've got filler. You're, oh, look at you. Ever. Why would I think that? If someone wants to get something, they can. I mean, I have hair extensions. That's fake isn't it like when I say I like being natural I mean my face I like my face being natural which is I don't know I just I'm scared to touch my face <laughs> with anything like I have eyelashes frequently but anything needle like or surgery cosmetic I'd never get done simply because I it make I think it's just gonna make you more well, not everyone if someone has like a nose that they've always been insecure with and gets it fixed great but I think with something like lip filler, most of the time, a lot of people that get it are insecure, obviously, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a few things I'm insecure about. And I know, if, for example, if I had thinner lips and I wanted to get lip filler, I know I'd get addicted because I'm that kind of mindset. I'd keep thinking, oh, they look thin now, oh, they look thin. It's like the thing with me being tanned. I'm like, oh, I want to get tanned, I want to be more tanned. And I just don't want to go down a slippery slope of injecting myself with, not myself, but getting injected with filler and stuff that could go wrong could migrate and also i'm scared of needles horrendously so i just wouldn't get it but get it go for it as long as you've got a good cosmetic person that's doing it and they're actually qualified and not just from an online course and certificate then go for it i'm not bothered kids before marriage or kids after marriage uh personally i want to be married but that is just so old fashioned and like I'd never judge anyone for having a baby not married. I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If I if I got pregnant whilst I was not married and I was with that person I knew I was gonna marry them, I wouldn't care. I'd just have the baby and wait. Like I'm not like, oh my god, I'm not married after quick, I'm gonna have a shotgun wedding. Like, no, I'd just wait and wait till the time's ready. But like ideally in a perfect world I would like to be married just I don't know it's just how my mum and dad did things and I like the idea of it and having the same surname straight away I don't know it's just it's a bit old-fashioned but if things don't work out like that I'm not gonna be upset I'm not gonna care you know just however things work boyfriends going clubbing and on a lad's holiday whilst they have a girlfriend okay I feel like this is such a situation based thing you know it's really hard so we're gonna start with clubbing i i personally think boys a lot of boys go clubbing for a different reason than girls do i'm sorry it's a fact and i think especially if your boyfriend in the past has gone to a club and got with people on a one night stand or stuff i think why would they be going clubbing now without you you know it's really hard i know some people can disagree with that but i mean they can go clubbing i'm not gonna break up with them you know <laughs> they just want to dance but I think it's just a little bit disrespectful only if in the past they have had them one night stands and got with people in clubs you know for example someone like me I've never got with someone in a club even when I was single obviously when I was not obviously when I was in a relationship I didn't but when I was single I never did because I didn't go to the club for that reason a lot of girls don't either so I think it's very different but again I don't know what you think lads holiday I think it completely depends on the place and it's respect it's just go to a respectful place like for example go i don't know like lanzarote or something you'd like you don't have to go to magaluf you don't have to go to INAP, you don't have to go to zante and so i had zante and malia book last year before i met my boyfriend he had magaluf book before he met me we both did them holidays we both decided after that we need we'll go we'll go on uh, friend holidays like whatever but we need to go to more respectful places that aren't full of the stigma of getting with people and yeah you can say oh but you should trust your boyfriend i do trust him completely i do trust him but it's a respect thing it's the same as like liking a girl in a bikini i trust him i know he's not going to get with that girl in the bikini but 
because she's on his screen, but it's respect and it's just that, you know, like I feel like, so for example, me and Katie are going to Mallorca, we're going to Calador, which is a quite a nice family place, we can still have fun, drink, and um, Toby starts his, um, what was he called? His placement year, so he isn't going away, but I said to him, look, go, go I don't know, you can go to Turkey, anywhere, like just somewhere that's respectful, have fun with your friends. It doesn't need to be somewhere that's like that, and that's why I'm not going to like Xanti or anything this year. You know? So yeah. Hmm, what we got here? Ooh, okay. Which is fun. What is your opinion on influencers? Do you think famous influencers are influencing the right thing? <sighs> this is such a difficult topic to talk about. I hate the word influencer, and I know I am someone that'd be called an influencer, but why? I've never understood the term. Like, seriously never understood the term like, like it actually baffles me when have we as people that work on social media come on and said we are going to deliberately influence everyone like we're just doing it for fun i know i am and i know most people that are in the limelight when i say limelight i don't mean like you know famous i mean i mean like just to an audience we do it for fun we don't we don't want to influence you you know like if we show a clothing item we like and you like it buy it but like you don't have to copy on my decisions and it, it's that thing where it's like celebrities as well it's like oh when Miley Cyrus went a bit crazy and she wasn't Hannah Montana anymore and those parents were going mad because oh my kids might copy her she doesn't owe you anything you know like we don't owe you anything but then again in the same sense see I'm going to contradict myself here and I am completely aware of that in the same sense as a social media person you have to be aware of what you're saying and what you're promoting for example i would never promote like you know skinny tea or whatever them brands are called because i know it's damaging and i would never sit on a like tiktok or youtube video and talk about how i'm dieting and how i'm i don't know doing a, a fast or a doing a perhaps trying to lose weight especially when i am slim and there's so i'm literally fed up okay fed up as someone that had an eating disorder and recovered i am fed up of seeing especially on tiktok girls going on there that are quite obviously, oh god, that are quite obviously slim and they know they are, sitting on there saying they're going to do this to lose weight, they're going to um, go cut the calories, they're going to do um, a juice cleanse or a water fast, like do you know how damaging that is to your audience? Yes, you're open and I'm open but I'm all, you also need to be aware of what you're promoting and influencing to other people, it's damaging. People are going to look at you and think but why? Because you're slim and you know it just <laughs> baffles me so yeah again we don't owe them anything we do it for fun we share our lives but again you've got to be aware it's just like any job like in customer service you can't be rude to people you know it's the same thing you can't in this job you, you can't promote stupid things that are going to damage people or talk about things that are going to you know it's just it's a really that's just a really um it's a really difficult one that underage drinking again not promoting it letting you know but everyone does it <laughs> i'm sorry if you have waited till 18 to drink or try a drink you are an angel sent down from heaven because seriously i cannot name one person that hasn't tried it like house parties family dinners or just anything you know everyone does it everyone tries alcohol before they're 18 and if you haven't well done i'm that's impressive but I did, every, everyone does, um, my opinion on it is just don't be bloody stupid, you're young and you're not as mature, don't do it somewhere stupid, I know that's not, your no one's going to listen to that because if you're going to do it you're going to do it, but just do it somewhere safe, you know, do it in someone's house, don't go around a park near roads drinking when you're 15, you're too young, do it somewhere safe if you're going to do it, you know, and know your limits. Again, stupid advice, but obviously don't start drinking when you're like 12, that's just ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> Vaping slash pressure to vape as a teen. Um, I've never really, I, I personally, I, I don't think I've ever been pressured into anything and I'm not just saying like, oh, I'm so good, I don't get pressured. I'm just not that kind of person. However, I know a lot of people that are and get pressured easily and like started vaping because their friends did. Like, that could never be me. I've just like, I just make my own decisions if I if I wanted to vape I would if I don't I don't like why does you just need to get that mindset why other, why do other people around you they're doing their own thing why can't you do your own thing you know have that mindset but I know it's so hard for a lot of people because they are influenced a lot by their peers and stuff but I just don't really I 
you just gotta say, not really into it, not my thing. Just, just say it makes you cough, that's what I say. It just makes me cough. I have really weak lungs, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might have asthma. No, that wasn't funny. But um, just be like, no, it's not my thing. Like, you don't have to do everything other people are doing. I will never wrap my head around why people pressure people to do anything. It's ridiculous. A peeing on university, do you regret not going? No, I don't regret not going. Um, simply because my boyfriend and best friend are at university and I get that kind of, you know, life with them. Like, I literally was with my best friend in her first year so much and I got that without doing the work. And no, I'm joking, but... Um, I think if you want to go to uni, go to uni, but I think if you're going to uni to genuinely just spend all that money, just have the party and the social experience, don't bother. It's such a waste of money, especially that new thing they're bringing in. So now, you know, now I think it's from the new people that are doing the A-levels now, you now have to pay your loan back from uni, no matter what you're earning. So at the moment, you have to be earning a certain amount so you, and then start paying it, do you know what I mean? And I actually think the new rule's really good, simply because if you're going to uni, it should be able to access you to a good, better job. I'm just saying that no one in my family went to uni, obviously I didn't go to uni and I'm doing well for myself, so many people do well for themselves, but I just think it's such a waste of time and money when you're going to uni, just party, not do any of the work, and you used all of that up, okay, and then because you didn't get a job that earns enough money, you don't have to like pay it back properly, you know? Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. But yeah, university in general, guy who don't go, doesn't bother me. If, if you really want to go for the like, social experience, just go. But you can get that anywhere. Do you want a youth club? <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah. I mean, again, do what you want to do. Opinions on multiple baby daddies. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, so to speak, if you're on good terms with them. I know it's not as simple as that for mums, and I know it's just really hard to even imagine being in that situation. I know people that have multiple baby daddies where they've had one child with one person it didn't work out and they had another child with another person so on so on it doesn't like not everyone's gonna be right for you and things happen you can get pregnant end up having the baby and everything things aren't gonna work out and it's it, even when you have one baby daddy it could be even more problems or less problems it just but I think if you're genuinely just going out and you have five different baby daddies and they're all been one night stands your kids are so damaging think of the kids you're bringing up you know I don't know but it doesn't really bother me someone's put Jesus loves you anyway right that is the end of today's video I really hope you enjoyed if you'd like me to do another one um, comment down more topics and opinions you'd like me to talk about because there was more but this is getting extremely 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 long but yeah, I love you all so, so much. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shenanigans. And yeah, I love you all to the moon and back. <laughs>